We're going to look at how to use our calculator to figure out the equation of the line of best fit and that and then also determine what the slope and the y-intercept mean in context. So we're given here dog age versus dog weight. Uh, so on my calculator, I'm going to start fresh from the home screen here. I'm going to press 1 to get a new document. If it asks you to save, I'm going to always say no. Let's always start fresh and you don't need to save your document. Um, we can add a new list and spreadsheet from here or we can do it from the home page. We're going to do dog age versus dog weight. Um, so I'm just going to do age up here as my label for the A column. And then weight as my label for the B column. And I'm going to type the data in here um, as coordinates. So four. You can do it one column at a time or you can do it kind of together. It doesn't really matter. Uh, four and 35 go together. Seven and 23. I, I tend to do it like this. That way you don't mess up and miss one number. 7 goes with 23 because, again, these are these are coordinates. They go together. So if you miss, a, miss one number or you kind of line them up in the wrong way, uh, they're not going to have the same relationship. It's going to be a different, different kind of correlation there. Again, I'm just going to keep typing. 7, 3, 2, 6, 44, almost there. 35, 27, 7, 1. You gotta use all of them. If you if you leave any out, it's gonna be again a different relationship. 38, 7, 4, and 5, 36. Alright, so notice how I, I didn't hit enter on that last one here. You you gotta make sure if you're typing in the last number, you hit enter. Um, otherwise it won't actually save that value. So here's all the coordinates. Um, so there's different ways to get the equation. So first thing we could do from the home screen again, we can add a purple. That makes a scatter plot, and we can click what the X thing is, which is the age. And we can click, it makes a nice little dot plot for us. And over here, click the weight, and then it makes it into a bivariate scatter plot here. We got two variables now. And you can look at that and figure out, okay, what should the correlation coefficient be about? Uh, it looks pretty weak. It doesn't look like a very strong positive, kind of a weak positive there. Um, from here, we can go to the menu. We go to Analyze, and we can go to Regression, uh, Show Linear, and then that'll make the line of best fit there, and we can get the slope and the y-intercept right off of that. So there's the slope, there's the y-intercept. Um, so that's one way we, to do it. Or back over here, we could go to the menu on the Spreadsheet tab here. So Menu, Statistics, Stat Calculations. Oh, went a little fast there. Let's try again. Menu, Statistics. Stat calculations, and then linear regression, mx plus b is fine, or a plus bx, as long as you know what m and b are, or a and b. Um, you got to tell it what your x is, so it says age is x, and weight is y, and then nothing else has to be changed, so just press enter or hit OK. And then it'll give us all our values here. So the m value, the slope, is 3.2972, same thing we got over here. And the y-intercept, the b, is the 14.6708, same thing we had over here. And then we don't want the R squared. We're going to use the R for the correlation coefficient. Uh, so 0 0.5630. Um, so that, that tells us, again, it's it's not very strong. It's a little bit more than half. So, I mean, technically, it's not weak um, because it's it's more than half, but it's not very strong either. It's kind of in that that gray area, that, that, that middle area here. Um, and that's why the data look pretty spread out here. It's, it's definitely not a strong, super strong relationship. I would call it more in the middle. Um, and then if we hit, oh, let's also talk about the slope here. So what does the slope represent? So the 3.29. So the slope is always, as the X thing goes up by 1, the Y thing goes up by the slope. Because our slope is always, if you simplify it, you know, as a fraction. So if I write our slope 3.29, uh, 7. So I'll call it 297 just to, you know, keep it accurate here. So that slope is the Y change over the X change. That's always what slope is over x change. So that means as x changes by 1, y changes by that. So we say as age increases by 1, that's my little up arrow for increases, weight increases by about 3, 3.297. That's how you describe what the slope means. You say as the x thing goes up by 1, the y thing goes up by the slope or down by the slope if it's negative. Uh, for the y-intercept, the y-intercept is at that 14.67, so that means um, when age equals zero, because the y-intercept is when x is zero, so the x thing equals zero, um, weight 
equals 14.67. That's how we describe what the y-intercept means. So I'm going to just hit show answer here and see how we did. Let me just click off of, let's see here, I still got the marker up. There we go. So show answer here, we got our slope and our y-intercept, and there's a correlation coefficient.